Good evening. The state's peak motoring body says drivers are being unfairly trapped by speed cameras on the southeastern freeway. But authorities have hit back, claiming only those breaking the law are being caught out. They're designed to make our most dangerous descent safer in trying conditions. But the RAA claims variable speed limit signs on the southeastern freeway are confusing drivers. We think it's unfair that so many people are getting caught because a lot of these people drive the road on a regular basis. Police data shows two fixed cameras at Leewood Gardens and Crafers, which adjust to the speed limit, nabbed 25,000 speeding drivers in the past financial year. The camera at Leewood Gardens is responsible for more fines than any other fixed camera in the state. All the other sign uh, locations don't have anything like the same number of uh, hits that this one has been getting, so that there's something happening there and needs to be looked at. Police Minister Tony Piccolo disagrees. Over 99% of people don't get pinged, so the question arises, if over 99% of people don't get pinged and notice the signs, uh, what are the less than 1% doing? Some of them, at least, apparently don't see the signs. I got caught doing 92 k's an hour in the 100 zone, um, when they're down to 80 k's an hour. So as far as I know, I was doing the right thing. I just obviously missed the sign. In some spots up there, it's hard to see when the speed limit has changed. I think there's not enough um, signage coming up or down. I think if you're familiar with the highway, it's good. I think those who are not familiar with it uh, do have a problem. The government won't consider reviewing signage along the descent. This section of, of the freeway uh, has had a lot of trauma associated with it, so we actually put additional compliance measures in place. I, I don't apologise for that. And Eddie Godfrey is live at the Southeastern Freeway. Good evening, Eddie. There's more pain on the way for motorists. Yeah, well, if, Kate, if drivers thought they had it tough on the freeway now, but there'll be something else for them to look out for over the coming months. Point-to-point -point cameras have been installed further up the freeway at Mount Barker and Callington. They're going through a testing phase at the moment, and the government expects those to be operational by the end of the year. It follows other point-to-point -point camera installations around Adelaide in recent times. There's also one on the Northern Expressway, which is also being tested at the moment, and we expect those to be online as well by the end of the year.